hello guys welcome back in this react js video we will uh, understand and take the overview of the new things which is come with the 16.3.0 react version so there is a uh, five major changes in the in this version the first and the very major changes is the context api uh, second changes is the create refs and third one is the forward refs then uh, changes in the life cycle this is also a very major uh, very major change and last one is the strict mode component so first of all we will talk about the content context apis so guys when uh, let's suppose you have a very complex uh, design you can say that so you have a com parent component and uh, in, in inside you have a child and super child and super super child components so how you will manage that you have to use the props or mobex or otherwise you have to pass the uh, props one on one so first you will pass the child and then you will pass the super child and then super super child so this is a very complex thing so to override this thing the react js introduced the context api and here here there is the two things in the provider provider will set the data and provide you the data and consumer will consume the data and you can do it anywhere in the apis inside the providers and uh, providers and the consume apis so this is also uh, we can say that uh, if easiest mode of the passing the probes and passing the data and the next video we will talk about the api context in the detail so this is the first video so we will just take a overviews so second thing is the create ref so in the create ref guys uh, just before that uh, you use the refs to modify the DOM and the nodes to create ref will uh, API will just little bit change the flow and give the null current node to use that and same as the forward ref will uh, forward the your reference to the your child component we can say that or the next component so you can directly uh, modify the next or the child component also so the component life cycle and is this this is the very major changes guys in here react js will just uh, sorry react js depreciate the three major life cycle com components which is the component will mount component will see props and component will update a react js uh, facebook community said said uh, said that uh, these components are highly misused uh, due to the misunderstandings and we will change them and they introduce the two more things which is the get drive state from the props and get snapshot before updates so these two are the new reduce and guys these are not removed until but these are depreciated in the they said in the version of 17th in the react js they will remove them or until you can use them uh, with the prefix unsafe if you want to use otherwise it, it will be okay with the uh, previous one and it will give the just a little bit warning okay guys so last one is the strict mode so in strict mode uh, they are provide some uh, sticky contents and here you will you can apply the strict mode on the uh, where you want to apply like uh, you don't want to apply on the header then don't you uh, you have to option that do, uh, you don't need to apply the on the header and the foot roll so you can apply it on the particular part of your component so this is also very helpful and this these will provide uh, what we what the strict mode currently help with you so identify the props with the safety and detection and exception the uh, side effects also and warnings with the apis and all the things and guys they will only work with your development mode after the production mode the strict mode will not going to work so this this is uh, i think only for the quality enhancement of the code so in the next video we will 
learn about the deep uh, about the context api this is a very interesting topic and seriously this is like of the heaven when you you are going to use it because it will free free to you to use uh, you will it will free to you from the redx and mobx they are really complicated for system developers so thanks guys thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel and if you have any kind of suggestions or any demand video you can put me in the comment box thanks guys thanks for watching this video